And I'm just like, what's the point of unpacking? I don't even know if I'm staying here. Because they really got me up. Good morning, Gems. It's Girl Miss Jamima, and we are back at it again with another mother freaking vlog, baby. And we are officially back in the DMV. <sighs> y'all, when I tell y'all getting ready this morning was a struggle, I don't know where anything is. Okay, money, I've been here a couple days. I don't know where a thing is. I could barely find my deodorant. Your girl was struggling down bad, okay? So I really need to get started on unpacking and getting settled in. Because uh, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Your girl, she's not gonna make it, okay? Um, send help expeditiously, okay? Send help immediately, okay? Send help now. Um, but anyways, I have some errands to run, um, some things to do. So, yeah, I actually need to hurry up. I can't find my usual hair products, so child, it's the little knots for me. I need to do another snip. Um, cause at this point I'm just letting my hair naturally dread. Yeah. Um, I need to get my life together. So yeah, let's, let's head to the kitchen. Hey y'all, welcome to the new kitchen. As you can see, we are not impacted at all. And you know, hopefully we'll be able to tackle that later on today. Cause let me tell you how your friends will be like, oh, I'm finna come help you, and then they never show up. Because I said Saturday, today's Thursday. Mm -hmm. I have a job. Let me tell you how people be making stuff up. <laughs> but you know, you move. I was, I was born alone. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I was born alone. I'm finna die alone. Like it just is what it is. And that's all right. You know, I'm grabbing me some suppies for the day. Um, I should have my water bottle, but I'm just gonna take this karma water and grab my probiotics. I was hoping I had some from my energy liquid IV, but I don't think so. I don't think so. So I'm just gonna grab the regular one. Pop that in my back, my back. I'm in my back. We're doing tropical punch today. Let me take my vitamin D and I have my Iron Chewy. I ordered a new bottle of iron because you guys remember it, I it was done when I was moving out. Girl, sent it to the wrong address. <laughs> sent it to the wrong state. Love that for me. Love that for me. So I have to order another one. But hopefully that should be here today. Because chat, I can feel my... Yo, I can feel my iron going down. Yo, every time I walk past the stove, because I have a gas stove now, bro, my cheeks keep moving. The, the knobs, and I'm, I'm like, I'm smelling gas. Why is my cheeks turning it on? Like, bro, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. So I have to be really careful when walking past it. Um, but yeah. All right, I just need something to take this, this vitamin, D. vitamin D in the system. I have a, li a little bit of sun joy left from my Chick-fil-A all the two days ago. I'm feeling it. Okay. Let's also retire this. You've been here long enough, buddy. It's been long enough. And just like that, we're going to hit the road, Jack. <laughs> later gators <laughs> i just want to say that if there's ever one thing that i dotted no i didn't say that right what am i trying to say hold on scratch that i just want to say that if i ever doubted that i was an adult that doubt officially ends now i'm officially grown i'm responsible like you can't tell me nothing i'm a real adult like for real a real adult i just had to say that because in case y'all had it twisted i know i had it twisted no longer not anymore now jamima okay 
know the worlds, okay? She's a real adult. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Y'all know how I get out. Mm, I need my GBS. I guess I'm not that adult. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. It's so weird driving my car back in town again. Cause I know I was traveling to Maryland back and forth, but I always had a rental, so it never really felt like I was home. But I'm like in my own car in my old city. Well, not my old city, but period. This whole state is my state in my old state. The whole DMV here, all all two states in the district. <laughs> it's so weird like like I'm for real back I'm back in a DMV that's crazy y'all today has been a whirlwind of a day like my blood pressure is up to here my cholesterol out the roof um a diabetes gout all the things thyroid out of control heart palpitating I have a pulmonary embolism. Like all the medical things, child, I don't know. I'm, uh, I was so frustrated by today. And I, I'm not really gonna go into detail, which kind of sucks, but like why am I bringing it up? But I just need this vent. Like, it is so frustrating. And I can't even say it's because people are incompetent. Like today I'm frustrated because people are overly competent at their jobs. You are doing so well at your job that even the people that should be able to have access to certain things can't get access. And I'm just like, oh. I wanted to pull my hair out one by one, starting with my scalp, then going down to my peach fuzz, to my mustache, my nose hairs. I'm pretty sure I got ear hairs. My beard, I wanted to pull them out one by one. Just literally, just, mm, 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 mm. I was so frustrated. And then people drive so slow. Oh my God. Like, no one has pep in their step. No one has urgency. Like, let's go. Let's go. You know? But it's all right. We're gonna we saw. We're gonna we saw. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. Um, and I will just save the rest of the shenanigans for tomorrow. I can't handle no more today. But on a positive note, my father is doing better. That is a great note, okay? Like from the last time I saw him, he is doing so much better. I literally could cry. But everybody else is pissing me off. <laughs> but yeah, so small small update <laughs> um yeah i'm so hungry and i can't wait to cook and y'all know i don't really like cooking for real i cook out of necessity because the body needs to eat i'm tired of eating out <laughs> like one thing about me i need balance i don't like to cook all the time but i don't like eating out all the time i need both i need both for me to enjoy one i have to have the other so like eating out all the time, you know, I, I would prefer not to cook my meals, but I need a home cooked meal. I need rice. I just, I need a good home cooked meal. I'm about to hit up one of my friends or one of their parents. <laughs> Please cook me something. Um, so my, my goal tonight is to tackle the kitchen because I need my kitchen. I need my kitchen. I need to go to Costco and stock up. I have to do a complete restock of my fridge. Like, I did a small, small restock for my hot sauces. Y'all know I have a problem. Um, I did a target delivery to get some like kidney supplies and things like that. And I also got a whole bunch of hot sauces, which they had some new ones that I've never seen before. Um, exciting. Can't wait to try them. But like, I don't even have sriracha, bro. I don't have sriracha. Who am I? I ordered these Korean tacos and no sriracha to put on them. And not every hot sauce goes with every dish. Like. Yeah, I could put Tabasco, but Sriracha would have hit with that bulgogi. Bulgogi, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping I could do my kitchen tonight. Actually, we're not hoping. I'm going to. Like, I'm not going to bed until that kitchen is done. Or at least accessible, usable, cookable. I thought you use a gas range and so stinking long. I'm a little scared. But also, like, the hookah finna hit. <laughs> <laughs> the hookah finna hit and also I just want to say it is so weird trying to retrain your brain because when you live in an apartment or you're used to a townhome or whatever the case may be I'm so used to like being conscious of how I'm affecting others like I don't walk hard 
after a certain time, I don't do certain things. I'm like gingerly trying to put things out on the floor. I'm just like, yo, I don't have to do that anymore. It was like 10 o'clock at night. I was like moving my nightstand and I was like, oh my God, I don't have to tiptoe anymore. Crazy thought, wild thought. But anyway, child, I'm stuck in traffic and I need to use the bathroom. I love that combination for me. I feel like that's the highlight of my day. That's the best thing that could happen to me. Being stuck in traffic when you have to, when you have to tinkle, like that's so great. I like I'm I'm God's favorite, clearly. <laughs> my day can't get any better. But anyways, I don't know why I thought the need to come on camera and tell you that. But um, yeah, I'm slowly calming down. Um, you know that this traffic is trying to try me. I'm so allergic to traffic, and I don't know when the traffic got so bad here. Like, it's bad everywhere now. Mind you, it's, well, I first started encountering traffic at 2. It used to be between 3 and 6. Like, between 3 and 6, of course, I get traffic, work out traffic. But other than that, in the afternoons and the evenings are good. Now, 2 o'clock, you're in traffic. Like, what is, what is happening? I feel like so many people migrated out of New York and they went to all these other cities. In my mind, that's what happened. And now all other cities are like super populated. Cause it didn't used to be like this. But it is what it is. Child, I said, oh, and people say Atlanta is bad, which Atlanta is bad. It's bad everywhere. I don't want to hear any more Atlanta traffic slander because at this point, slander all the cities. Houston? scary stuff houston had me quivering in my boots and by my boots i mean my faux hermes sandals <laughs> i was like oh and y'all talk about atlanta have y'all seen la traffic la traffic yo nasty work nasty work anyways child i'm gonna put this music back on and have a time because i need a concert in the car to distract me I want some beef jerky so bad. Some Haitian rice with goat. Mmm. I want goat and sauce though, not fried. I want no tasso. No sauce. Maybe a little Russian salad. Macau new gratin. Mmm. Pickles. Freshly fried butter visit. That freshly fried pressed plantain, and you know what I found out? Not everybody um, does a saltwater bath with their fried plantain. Huh? I remember some, somebody saying something about that being crazy because you know water and oil makes it. Cock, 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 cock. And I was like, yeah, but it also makes it good. But I'm like, not everybody does that. I guess we just salt the, the plantain after. But when you dip it in that salt water, then you fry it. I mean, you might. You might lose some parts of your chest when the oil splashes it and burns you to death. But that plantain gonna be busting. <laughs> that plantain will be delicious. <laughs> oh, this traffic on this other side is nice to work. Wow. Welcome to DC. Welcome to DC. <laughs> Child, let me go. At this point, I'm just talking this about. Talking just to talk, nothing to say.
gems. Um, oh, as you can see, <laughs> not a box, not a single box was indeed unpacked. Listen, <laughs> listen, babes. The rest of my book. I'm gonna eat the rest of my book. <laughs> Y'all, this was so good. But this is the first time in my life I ever had alapeño. And it was actually like for real spicy. Like I couldn't even handle it spicy. Like it was choking up my throat. The heat, I was like, <coughs> and the people at the restaurant. First time in my life. Like I've had spicy jalapenos once before, but it was like a cute little kick. And I was like, oh, this is cute. Usually jalapenos give me sweet peppers for me, typically. These Vietnamese peppers, I said, oh, this is not GMO. This is not grocery store. This is imported from Vietnam. There's no way. Or maybe this was grown in somebody's backyard okay from vietnamese stock because that what and i had a nerve to ask for extra not knowing what i was getting myself into it was to the point where i let it sit and then i took them out when have y'all ever seen me take something spicy out of my food shock and appalled shock and appalled but yeah i was like oh my message to drink an energy drink and um come and tackle this kitchen I I just don't have it. I don't have it in me tonight. I just don't. <laughs> and I have another early morning tomorrow. A lot of running around to finish what I wasn't able to accomplish today. So it's giving. You know what? I'm just. I'm just gonna have to go another day without cooking. Another day of eating out. So fun. I love that for me. This place has a lot of spiders in it. I feel like I see spiders in every corner. But it's all right, I'm about to. Yo, yo. Um, so yeah, I'm about to slurp down this soup. My nose finna run. I might start coughing again. It's gonna be a good time. It is. It's gonna be a good time. I can't wait, I'm excited. I was like, yo, this during the winter? I gotta find a place that's near me though. I gotta find a fall place that's nearby so I can get my soup fix, okay? Ooh! And you know I dropped it in Sriracha too. Mm. Oh, it's not hot enough. Ooh, but it's good. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mmm! Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, I sit. He loves the thinkers. This is the salmon recipe. It doesn't have chicken in it. Also, picks up these mini trainers. He likes these. Good morning, gems. I am currently headed out. Well, getting ready to head out, anyways. So, doing my skincare routine really quickly. Um, yesterday, I used this SPF for the first time that had great reviews. Um, but it was giving me very much white cast, so I ended up putting a little foundation on top because I was looking crazy. But I didn't necessarily want to wear a full face of makeup either. Um, I just put on some of the Clarins serum. You guys know I love that. One thing about moving, it's gonna make you pull out some products that you haven't touched in a while. This is the Inky List Peptide Moisturizer. And I was like, dang, why do I feel like I don't remember liking it this much? I really like this. But I haven't tried it on its own. I've always tried it with um, some kind of product underneath it. And it's been really moisturizing. Um, like, this stuff is actually really good. But I'm gonna try it by itself to see if it's still just as moisturizing or if it's just really pairing very well with the Clarins. But yeah, I'm just like, I've been enjoying that. <laughs> I love shopping my stash. <laughs> the sun cream that I used was a Polish Choice SPS 50 with vitamin C. I was very intrigued by the vitamin C aspect because like on a simple day where I'm not doing too much, like I just have a moisturizing serum and moisturizer. Um, I can apply this and also get protection and an extra dose of vitamin C because I clearly didn't apply any vitamin C this morning. Um, but I realized I didn't shake it. You're supposed to shake it because it was giving, it was giving Casper. Um, so I'm going to try to shake it today and see how it looks. But also, I wasn't mad at how my skin was liquid with a little bit of foundation. I used the e.l.f foundation 
And then just put that a little bit of my setting powder on top. Boom, called it a day. Oh, and I always feel so scared when I like how things look like that because I feel like I'm gonna be attached to having clear skin. Not like clear skin as in my skin to clear, but you know, even skin, that's what it is, more even skin. Cause I always think that my skin is okay until I put foundation and concealer on and then it's just like, why does that make a big difference? <laughs> like, you know, some people put on foundation and it's just like, girl, like, <laughs> you put it on for lies and you can't even tell, honey. You know who, when they wear foundation or when they take their makeup off, I'm just like, oh my God, your skin is just as flawless. I design. When she do her little content, she take off her makeup, I just be like, oh, you can barely tell her skin eats, her skin eats. And I'm just like, why my skin looks so different? You know, like why, why can't I be God's favorite? You know, um, so I'm gonna try and shake it. I feel like it's not moving though. So I'm like, does that mean I wasn't fully protected yesterday? Like I thought I was. Like it doesn't feel like it's moving. It doesn't feel like the liquid inside is shaking. But we're gonna see. <laughs> I feel like my skin looks really good, y'all. Like that inky moisturizer. Yeah, I like. I like. Okay. <laughs> Moment of truth, child. Okay, it came out looking the same. This is what it looks like. Who's texting me? still gonna get white cash but honestly i'm not mad at that like i don't have an issue with the formula itself i noticed yesterday i didn't really get super oily with um the foundation on my skin my eyes wasn't burning and i noticed that with the super goop on a really humid day if i'm in like really extreme warm humid temperature my eyes will start burning and i was like it didn't used to do that so i still love super goop i'm just like yo like low key not me finding my first con um but i didn't i don't remember having any burning yesterday so um i'm not sure if anything's come up on camera it's just yeah there's just a, something of something that's like a tint a twinge of gray um could i walk outside like this I wouldn't. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but yeah, it, it's, it's just a little bit of a cast for me personally, but um, I'm still gonna use it. <laughs> I didn't put any primer on or ain't. Oh, yes I did, I'm lying. I did prime. I used my Danessa Myricks. Oh, so I was like, girl, I didn't do nothing. Just put my, my sunscreen, foundation, powder, walk out the door. No, you primed, yeah, you did. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that today. We're gonna do the same thing. And so yeah, keep it simple but cute. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I used the Yummy Skin Balm. I just rub my finger in it. Ooh, I should have waited a little bit for the sunscreen to absorb, but whatever, we're right here. Hopefully I'm not gonna be outside for too long today. But I do wanna kinda like stop maybe at a coffee shop or something to get a little bit of work done. We'll see. We'll see how the vibes go. This stuff is so fire, so fire. Put some on the back of my hand. And this is the shade Deep Warm 50. And I literally just buff it to the skin and it just makes my skin look like skin again and not like a zombie <laughs> very much my skin but better love it i love it i love it 
then top with a little powder. This is the micro, the micro smooth from Sephora. Just to set it. Try to minimize the movement. And I like it because I still get coverage. Like yesterday I was wearing a mask for like half the day. It took off a little bit of the foundation, but like my skin still look good, you know? As opposed to my wearing makeup and you would really tell like that my makeup was coming off. So this is a nice in between. But like a really quick running errands situation. But yeah, just gonna look human. Especially after using that damn sunscreen job. That was a setup. Oh, and also I did um, brush my eyebrows with the Rife, <laughs> Refi eyebrow gel. I love this stuff. You know, I feel like I always go through a phase where it's like, oh, new eyebrow gel. This is definitely the longest that I've loved in eyebrow gel. Because this one has worked for me throughout multiple hair colors, stages of makeup. Um, it just, it just, it just does it for me, you know? It just does it for for moi that's all folks actually i'm lying i'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my scalp because it's looking a little cray cray i did get some new oils because most of the ones i have smell like medicinal like tea tree menthol peppermint you know like good for your scalp oils this one smells good okay so i wanted one that is still good for my scalp but Oh, this one actually smells really good. It's from Cantu. Cantu is gonna do it for me every time. I want this one something that's gonna be good for my scalp, but like, I don't wanna smell like I'm treating my scalp, you know? Cause, ooh, I gotta be careful because y'all know how my hair is. I'll be thinking I'm good, and then 20 minutes later, I have oil dripping down my head. <laughs> Child, I mean, got too many times before. Okay, but my scalp is super dry at the moment, so. Trying to get her together, get her back to looking decent. She smells good. Oh, I like that. I like that. Mm, it's sweet, but not overbearingly so. Almost like a sweet amber. Hmm, I like it. See, that's the thing where I'm like, I don't know when enough is enough for like daytime use, not for like pre-wash use. Let's just play it safe. I'd rather have not enough than too much. So we're gonna leave it as is. My hair is dry, but also more defined than usual. I don't know how I feel about it. I used a new um, combo yesterday. I used the Maya Avocado Moisturizing Hair Milk, and then I topped it with um, the Crazy Sexy Curl Do The Do Big Girl Just Setting Foam. And it's like my hair is like dry, but also it's maintained some of the texture, especially for being in a bonnet, you know. But Cher, ooh. It still needs a little something, a little refresh. All right. That oil is staying in rotation. I like this. It's so damn small though. But I like this, which actually makes it travel friendly. I like that. I like that. I'm just gonna top it with a little bit of the setting lotion. I wish I had my, um, spray moisturizer here. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where to, I really need to start backing, like for real. This setting foam literally smells like honey, like actual honey. Where is my sponge? See, ain't nobody on top of that. Ain't nobody on top of that. Where is my sponge? Give her back. It was in the closet for some reason. Don't know why I put it there. Okay, and lastly, going in with my finery before the rainbow perfume. Smells amazing. Do y'all remember a couple vlogs ago when I was talking about the big back jokes? <laughs> and how I don't appreciate the jokes and not everybody with a big back have big back tendencies. And how I wasn't the right messenger, right? 
Because I just placed the biggest of backs order at McDonald's. I'm so ashamed. Y'all, I want to be two different McDonald's so bad. Like, I want to be like, McDonald's? Ugh, that's not even real food. Like, y'all still eat that? Nasty work. Y'all really eat that? I want that to be me. And it used to be me, low key. I don't know what happened. I went back to the pack. Thank you. I don't have to get my card no more. That's crazy. McDonald's bring back the salads. Thank you. Can I have a cup of water, please? Thank you, sorry. And, and four barbecue sauces, please? Yes, four, please. Oh, can I have three more? Three more, please. 25 cents for each. Four. Oh, God. Three more cents. Yo, that's, that's what I get. I had to pay 25 cents for extra sauce. What is this world coming to? Oh, my God. Oh, I gotta stop leaving the house without eating. Like, cause then I'll be out all day starving, doing this to myself. And I don't need to ever do this to myself. 25 cents? 25 cents? I'm not gonna turn here, huh? Damn. I'm not. But I'm currently waiting for another content creator. I bought a rug off of her. Supposed to be meeting her soon. But I'm early, a few minutes, so to so sit here and chill until she gets here. We can do our exchange. <laughs> our parking lot exchange. This one gives a little drug dealer action, but with home decor. <laughs> I can't keep it in, y'all. They had a new Oreo pie. I got it. I love Oreos. I got the pie and the ice cream. I just want a bite, though. I just want to see how it tastes. It's like, when did they come up with this? Look at it. What is that? Yeah, I know. Oh my God, no. Oh no. What is that? It's an Oreo pie from, from McDonald's. It's like an Oreo outer exterior and like a marshmallow in no. Oh, I'm so glad this is not, not good. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know who approved that. That's a drawing board. That's a drawing board, that was terrible. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so great to meet you. You too. I love your content. Thank you. I love yours. <laughs> Thank you. This is my welcome. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Such a sweetheart. Her and her girlfriend. Child, no, I wouldn't have gotten this carpet in that car without them. I'm so glad they helped. So what kind of carpet is it? It's just a white rug. That's oh, they sell carpets? No. <laughs> Can't get on my nerves. No, they bought it um, and then they didn't use it anymore. And you know, I always like to get a white rug from my beauty room. The pot was trash. And I was debating between this and Rita's. I should went with Rita's because after the first two, three bites, it was good, it was real good. But then it's just like, it's hot and I'm, I'm consuming dairy as opposed to like crushed ice. I should went to Rita's, but 
it's all right. It's all right, Monica. I am immediately over all of this. But I think it will go up. What's my straw, child? I'm about to um, run the TJ Maxx real quick. See what they got going on in here. See if I see some. Cute. I'm not really looking to do damage today. I'm just kind of like eyeballing to see tentatively what is available for my future home. What setting is this? Wait a minute. This must be cinematic. This is good. Ooh. How cute are these pods? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh. You're just so cute. This is what I have at home. Cute. I'm ready for fall for the fall decor. Ooh, this is so cute. A little petite, but cute. Oh, they nice spin. Period. Oh, oh. The price isn't bad at all. If you ask me already. You know what else I haven't had in a long time? A freaking 7-Eleven slushie. My childhood, my young adulthood. Uh, those seven leather slushies, I used to mix pina colada with cherry. Okay, every time I used to get the big jumbo, <laughs> the big bazooka. Man, you slurp on that thing. In the summer, oh my god. In the summer, like, I'm so easily over food. When it comes to a drink, a beverage, like clearly I just showed up right now, like of course I'm starving. I'd be like, oh rabbit. But then what I really want to do is drink. I just want to drink. It's so hot. It's so hot. But another time, Buki. Another time. Hey guys. Um sorry, I don't mind the mess behind me serious moment my brain is maxed out like i'm so frustrated <laughs> so many different aspects of this transition has been so frustrating between dealing with like my dad's stuff and then dealing with like house stuff so i didn't buy this house i'm renting um and there were just things that I wasn't told coming in um, that I should have been told that would have 1000% impacted my decision. Um, and it's, it's frustrating because uh, I'm being treated like I'm being unreasonable. Um, from the beginning, honestly, if I wasn't desperate like i wasn't in a rush to find something because i was here for like three days when i came to visit and i was like i need to lock a place down now because i need to like transition back to maryland to be my dad as soon as possible every step of the way it just felt off like i'm used to renting like 
I always say my goal in life is to be so rich. I never have to own anything in my life. I don't want to own nothing. I don't want my name on nothing. I'm able to come and go as I please. <laughs> um, I've been renting for so long. I've rented homes. I've rented condos. I've rented apartments. I've rented so many things. And I've never had a experience like this one. Um, and basically, I went into it like I feel like I might be getting scammed. <laughs> but I'm desperate. I had to take a chance. Luckily, it was not a scam. Um, but my experience with this property management company is just not ideal. Um, it's giving family owned business like somebody started this this company and they hired their cousin or something like it's just it's just not giving the level of professionalism that I expected. I've worked with management companies before and it was never like this like first of all the entire experience was like mainly online which is convenient for them but also makes it very easy to be scammed like very easy to be scammed i was very concerned <laughs> when i say very and i still feel like i'm underestimating not like i'm, I'm underselling how concerned i was because i was i was just so confused by everything so like i say everything was online which made me very hesitant um and even when i was finally able to come see the place in person the person that was showing the place looked like he just rolled out of bed like when i tell you it looks like my little cousin ray ray his attitude was off like he was so like stoic i tried to ask him questions and he was like sassy <laughs> um because i was like you know do i have a chance to talk to the owners to ask some questions about the place remember this because we're gonna come back to that Oh, like what questions like what do you want to know you know like just things about the house like the utilities how much you're gonna cost da, da, da. oh two hundred dollars all the utilities like can we like the gas water like like all the utilities that's what utilities are first of all i even know if that house was running on gas it could have been purely electric i didn't know you didn't specify that's why i was trying to ask questions it, it, it it's just a, a level of of like sass a sassy undertone um because they had an open house and um they're like nobody put an application or whatever um and i was concerned because so i thought you know this house was a good deal or whatever so i was like um are there any reason why people weren't interested in this home like i said i apply for this house i have never even seen it i was still in atlanta and a person that responded was like oh um we cannot disclose that information nor is it relevant the first part i got it you can't disclose completely understand that's fine um not relevant people that are physically going to see the house are not interested in the house me who has never seen the house it's not relevant to me why they're not interested at all there's no re relevance at all. You couldn't see any possible reason why that information might be crucial to me. Because my thing is, if, if you can't tell me, that's fine. Just say you can't tell me. It's cool. Nor, nor is it relevant. Is it professionalism in the room? Because who the fuck are you talking to? And it's just like little stuff like that, but they're like adding up and adding up. And I had a situation come up where I ultimately ended up having to pay rent for both this place and my current apartment in Atlanta at the same time because they were on some 60 day notice type stuff. You know, my lease had ended Child, a whole lot of a lot of and I was trying to see, can I negotiate something like can I, you know, talk to my to, to see if my Atlanta apartment can be um, reduced by another three days or maybe i can wait to move into here and the the management company wouldn't even take my inquiry to the owners they're just like no we're not <laughs> we're not asking them that <laughs> like that's not even in their best interest mind you i had asked to move in earlier before i forget i found out that i had to put in a 60 day notice and not 30 day notice in atlanta i was like oh can i actually move in earlier because my father had taken a, a, a sharp decline child i was worried i was like oh i need to give it be in maryland like now and they were considering it like asking the owners when they're going to be out was the, like the, the first day I can move in. And as soon as I say, um, is it possible for me to extend it? All of a sudden, oh, 
no uh the lease is a contractual whatever obligation you can't go i'm sorry if, if we made it seem like da, da, da. oh you sorry you made it seem like when i wanted to move in earlier you were gung-ho and now that i need a little extra time you're not even gonna take the request to the owner if the owner says no they say no i get that but you're not even going to address the matter the, the, the matter with them at all and I don't like that because I feel like they're so concerned with looking out for themselves it's impacting me and my coins that are being spent and it's pissing me off so fast forward remember when I said I went to talk to the owners just have a, a quick little chat talk about the house da 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 yeah time it's time to move in first of all I move in there's no air now <laughs> electricity's cut off electricity's cut off um things like the garage doesn't work uh function properly um little things like oh i say little things big issues like the ac has a cap of effectiveness um where it won't go down all the way like the middle floor all the floors are fine except upstairs upstairs is, is warmer and i'm just like well, nobody told me this if y'all had told me this knowing i'm a hot itch okay knowing i get hot okay my air is is always between 69 and 71 and you're trying to tell me that it doesn't matter how low i set the air is i can go down a certain amount on hot days you mean on hot days when i need it the most and my thing is if that's not something you're gonna fix that's fine let me know beforehand let me know before i sign the lease so I can be like, oh, that's not gonna work for me. I might not be the right tenant for you. It might not bother the next one. I don't know. It didn't bother the owners, and that was the argument of the the property management. Oh, the owners were fine. Sometimes they would turn it off at night. Okay, what does that have to do with me? If I put the air on seventy one, I'm expecting it to be seventy one everywhere, and I feel like people are gaslighting me, like like I'm insane. Am I tripping? Like. Am I tripping? Like, I feel like I was scammed. And not intentionally. Like, I understand that people may be comfortable with certain things. But, like, just because someone is comfortable with it doesn't mean that I have to be comfortable with it. And I don't feel like what I'm, what I'm, I'm, I'm telling you about is unreasonable. Like, when I'm recording and filming and doing hauls and stuff, y'all, I'm, my AC is on 68 because it gets hot i'm literally physically moving around it's hot and the halls are the bread and butter of my channel and they're just like oh just run a fan i can't put a fan on during the halls it's gonna add extra white noise it's already hard enough to take out the white noise from the um the air circulating like uh, and i'm just like why am i why am i being expected to just accept things when you're taking all of my money every month. But I'm just like, once again, I'm not a homeowner. So for those of y'all that own homes or that own rental properties, am I tripping? So the HVAC guy came and he was like, basically long story short, yeah, the air is not circling properly. It's supposed to reach, when he points the gun at the vent, he says it's supposed to reach 50 something. It's still in the 60s. So like, like I said, other parts of the house are, f well, actually the air is off everywhere, but it feels good in other parts of the house. When you get upstairs, that's when you really see the, the, the heat. Yeah. And he was like, oh yeah, it is hot. My man's was sweating. Poor thing. Like, and he's like, oh, he needs to come back. And I guess figure out there's a leak. I don't know what the case was. Something like that. He needs to go and check the circulation. Um, it's been a couple days. I emailed them like, what's, what's the update? What do you mean update? The HVAC tech said, oh, he did tune up and everything's fine. What do you mean he said everything's fine? He said the system was too small for the house. And it, it should be a four ton system. I don't know what that means. Y'all HVAC people will know. Um, either that or get a system, second system upstairs and leave the bottom one as is. And I feel like maybe it was a, the property management people that was dealing with the HVAC guy and not the owners. Um, Cause the, the, I realized, I, I, I realized when I'm the owners, I'm responding to the owner's response. And when I'm responding to the, the property management response, because like I said, I have no direct contact with the owners. Everything is through that company. And whenever like, they were like, oh, well just put on a fan, the owners are fine with it. So basically like, you should be fine with it too. 
Excuse the fuck out of me. Y'all, I'm so frustrated. Like, I, I, I had a moment, I'm not gonna lie, I shed a third tear or two. Cause I'm, I'm already frustrated with so many things going on in my life right now. Like, I feel like I can't even, I can't even breathe yet. Cause I'm not, I'm not settled. That's one reason why I, I haven't started unpacking yet. So I'm just like, I don't wanna have to unpack, just have to repack and go somewhere else. And even that mindset already is stressing me out. Cause the move was stressful. Because how you said, the owner of the moving company came to my house, girl, did a whole thorough inspection, showed him my storage unit and everything. I showed him every nook and cranny. I, and, I, and I didn't underestimate. I said, oh, you think this is a lot? It's going to get worse. After every room, oh, you think this is a lot? It's going to get worse. Just for them to still show up, just without enough things, enough everything, to the point where they're like, oh, I don't think it's all going to fit in the truck. Can you put some in your car? My car that's gonna be traveling with you overnight. You want to? You want me to fill my car with items that don't have tinted windows? Where's my bracelet to my car? Now what? Like things are <laughs> things are damaged, and y'all know I always say this is my first apartment where I really invested into quality furniture that was not cheap. So all my stuff is either has scratches. I, one of the desks didn't even make inside the house. They didn't come with tools, so the whole assemble disassemble didn't do that like I just and this move was so if I told you how much I paid for this move mind you I could have had my friends move me they offered it was like oh at the end of the day like it's so expensive we'll come down we'll have a moving party we'll rent a truck we'll get you right da, da, da. but I said you know what I've invested so much money into my things I, I want professionals I want it to be done with quality just just for me to still get this like just for me to still experience this like what the fuck happened to my lamps? And I just feel like at every step of the way, people have been trying me and they keep expecting me to be okay with their bullshit. And I'm, I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. I'm so tired of going back and forth and I don't want to hear, oh, it could be worse. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not paying for it. It could be worse. I'm not paying nobody's discounted rate. I'm not paying nobody's cheap rate. I'm paying everyone thousands and 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 thousands of dollars on top of everything else I already got going on. Y'all, I'm, I'm really trying to keep my composure. I'm really not the type to pop off for real, especially because I don't really have an in-between. I feel like I'm either zero or I'm, I'm going all the way off. And I don't even really go all the way off for real. I just get mad and start crying. And I don't want to do that. But it's almost like people don't hear what, don't, they don't hear you until you pop off. And I'm just like, bro, they even have enough boxes and stuff. Mind you, I had gone out of my way and got extra plastic blends for my things that I didn't tell them about, okay? I didn't even tell them I was getting extra stuff. They did not have enough boxes to carry my things. Y'all, like, everyone is pissing me off. Everybody. Everybody. And it's like, everyone just wants me to take it. I don't want to take it. I want to get what I'm paying for. And if I pay for 71 degrees in a house, I expect all of the house to be 71 degrees. If I pay you thousands, huh? Of dollars to move my things and to keep them intact I expect my things to arrive intact <sighs> anyways y'all when I tell you I'm beyond beyond frustrated and I'm trying to chill I'm just so over everything right now <sighs> my head is aching my head is killing me can't find nothing and I'm just like what's the point of unpacking I don't even know if I'm staying here because they really got me fucked up like what are you talking about the owners are okay with it just put a fan on just put a fan on <laughs> what just put a fan on like why would you say that <laughs> to somebody that's that's paying for the space that they're in but like am I tripping Am I tripping? Cause like, I, the way they're talking to me, I gotta be the one that's tripping. Like y'all let me know. The way they're talking to me, I, I have to be the one that's in the wrong. 
Because, like, if the ducks need to be cleaned or something, what, what do I got to do? Or if y'all need a second system, at this point, I'll pay for it. You, you going to take something off my rent? I'll I put in a second system myself at this point. Like, I always said if I ever moved back to Maryland, I, I wouldn't be able to rent. I would have to buy. And it's just like, bro, this, this is why. Because people be playing in your face. People really be playing in your face, for real. And then they gaslight you like, you the dummy. Why are you asking for so much? You doing too much. This property management company is really irking my nerves. Like, as an intermediary, you 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 can't be prioritizing yourself, bro. If there's an issue, there's an issue. I don't. It's like they want me to. They try to tell me to, to hush and be quiet, and not cause problems. If there are problems, I'm not the one causing it. It's already here. If I leave, the next tenant is going to have a problem. And they're like, oh, well, it's only hot. Like, during the really hot days in the summer, it'll cool down in September. Okay. And then next year? Not even next year. So basically, you're telling me to spend the next month and a half. And that's assuming it actually really does cool down in September. Because let's be for real, it'd be hot way into the fall. So, I'm supposed to be hot, burning up, sweating in my sleep for the next month and a half because the owners are okay with it, because the owners were cold and they turn their air off at night? What, is, what does that have to do with me? I have friends that have their, their air on 78 and they're comfortable. That's their business. That should not be forced on me. There are people that are comfortable with all kinds of heat. That's not me, and I don't think it's unreasonable. But like I said, I might be wrong because they were talking to me like I'm, I'm crazy. Like, girl, you talking too much, doing too much. Be quiet. She said, turn on, turn on the fair, the turn on the fan as much as you like. Like they're like the the AC, the electricity is being covered by them. <laughs> they said, no, just keep the fan on. Like they're the ones paying for it. Like it's free for me. Child, anyways, I need to go to Costco. Y'all, why would everybody call me at once? That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call them back and cry a little bit and then I'm gonna go to Costco. Now, see, now I'm scared to go to Costco. I don't want more food now. I already started looking at other places on Zillow. I put in another application today. I'm just like, God. The thought of having to move again, and then because things weren't packed up correctly, things are already falling out of boxes. Fought boxes. Some things didn't even come in boxes, so I would have to like pay another moving company to move me again, pay another deposit, pay for more boxes to fix the ones that didn't make it here intact. Like, oh, it's just so much. It's just so, and this amount of money that's being wasted. It's not even about whether you have it or not. It's just the fact that it's being wasted because of incompetence and negligence and lack of information. Just wasted. It's so ghetto out here. I might just go back to the apartment and call it a day. Okay, I just got an email back. See, that's what I'm talking about. What's really pissing me off is because I feel like the owners themselves are regular fucking people like the whole back and forth I just had was with the management company now that they reached out to the owners the owners are like they understand my issue and they can commit to a different uh, uh they give a time the time's not gonna work for me but I'm gonna go and talk to them about what we can do to to you know do it now um but it's just like we could have we could have been gotten to this part of the conversation you want to go back and forth with me as if it's your house I want to oh god I'm so annoyed. Like, I just, I have so much on my plate right now. I, I don't need the extra bullshit. I'm at cost curve. Oh, you might not want to walk behind me. Yeah, walk in the front. <laughs> so I can wash that ass. Yeah. Oh my God, this would be so cute. If you do two, that's wrong. You're not going to be close plus. But get two side by side. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> I 
Where the cherries at? Where the cherries at? Where the cherries at? I'm going to my shit. I'm going to need a, a slice of roux before I head out for my food. emotional distress. No, we, no, you're not doing that. You already had ice you're cream. You're not my mom! I didn't even have the ice cream. I took two bites and threw it away. It was too hot. I should got read us. My Yuka app. Anything you, anything you buy, I'm scanning. Oh my phone's up now. Period. Oh, shit, that's Period. not good. Why? Oh, I can log in from your phone. You log into what? My Costco account. I have one. You have a Costco account? Yeah. Bitch, what? Who was the whole point? You know what? I'm done. Take cut the tape. I want to spend time with you. All you had to do was say that. I did. Like three times. When did you, you ever hear me. me say I need your card? You, 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 you see, no, the problem you, is you, 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 to come you, back to Maryland. Used, you used to people not you, be able to do for themselves. You, you, you now, was, they, now that's my taking care of you, baby. You, you was know pressed to, to come from Maryland. You know how to act. You, now that's my got you. What the, what the kids do? Now that you ain't got to worry about it, it's where you at. <laughs> <laughs> God dang. Kimberly, we met you, Spunny. You talking about me? You can, you can leave the spots alone. It's time. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I wish I had been black. I know, right? Okay, more rugs. Oh, these are big. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh not the price. I got my outdoor rug from here. Oh! Yep. Ow! Costco, oh. Costco be Costco one. This I got is this one right here. Oh, ah! <laughs> ah! I was gonna do what they need to do. I feel like this would be really cute. I don't know what color couch I want to get for. Well, let me stop talking. I have nowhere to live yet. Period. Period. I cannot wait. <laughs> wait for what? I'm a wee bitch. I want all the haunted houses. My dress up. Pumpkin spice. I'm about to live by Satan. What photo are you I'm not, I was uh, very unserious. You want to take it to a bay? No. Oh, hmm. Pumpkin head? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm dead. He said lean with it, rock with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Move it. Move it. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, I'm going to have a young <laughs> 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 I can't tell him no. Please come. Maybe I'm an old woman. Bell pepper. What do it be? So good. Uh, I can't eat oh, did you have any with turkey? Ooh. That man's like that. Yeah, she's that. And I'm trying to help you out. What's up? Uh, chicken salad. Superior. <laughs> Thirty for her deli. <laughs> This per pound price is receiving. Okay. <laughs> is anything less than 13, 1302, 1302, can I get that 1301? 1301, can I get 13 even? 13 even? I've been to an auction in so long. Some sort of burrata. It's the veggies for me. Mm. Dang, $12 though? Well, look at this. That's expensive. Shibata. Chicken sandwich. That looks really good. Chicken sandwich. No, Not the gyro. Oh! Oh! The pasta night, period. Stir fry. Stir fry. Get the, the stir fry. Oh, that's the salad he's preparing. Yeah. I thought it was the one they sell up front. Yeah. That's my don't. Stuff that with ground beef. They don't have any of turkey? That's kind of insane to me. No, not turkey. I feel like I need, I just gotta try it. I just, need a, I just need a bite. But I want a crispy on the corners. It looks like it's crispy. It don't, it looks soft all the way through. I need a crunch on the outside. No, it looks like it's crispy. That chocolate don't look melted enough to me. Put that thing in the, uh, in the oven real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, Kiki Queen. <laughs>
series. Yeah, for sure, right on. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> What's that? Lactate. You want one? First set, one more. You can already gone. Um, I just want to say that main choice, main choice took the girls on a brand trip. When I tell you this is a brand trip, woo, I heard the music and I automatically said, oh, 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 this is where I should be. I need it. I need to book a trip because I. Put out a few cents, huh? When I do this, waiting for the sun to rise. A trick. A brain trick. A brain trick. That's what I need right now to release the, the stress in my brain. Come on. My God. Come on. Why you bump on me? Hey. Hey. Come on. Even the workout class they went to, because I know any is on there and Sasha's on there. Um, they had a workout class where they was playing soak and working out the soak. They were working out to soak. Please, 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 please. Next to um, Topical's Ghana trip, this is what I call a brand trip. Oh, does it say Toronto Caribbean Carnival? Is that what this is? This Toronto Carnival? Girl, I was like, they must be the Caribbean, because where they at? Where they at, no. I love that it's like, beauty but it's fun and vibes and it's also wellness don't mind nothing you see me eat in this vlog in theory i'm still connected i'm just i'm just having a moment right now but like first of all how cute is this gym this is so cute this is so cute oh my god and the girls are so good What I need in my life. That's what I need brands to support in my life. <laughs> oh, this looks like a blast. Ah, the girls are having a time. I love that for them. I love that for them. The instructor is eating this up. First of all, her purple set is so cute. Wow. Wow. love this all the girlies are there having a time is that dana this is this is this, is this canada i have no idea where they are i assumed it was a caribbean just because of the vibe but so confident i actually have no idea i gotta work harder i gotta work harder because it's just i gotta work harder <laughs> That's it, that's all. I have work to do. Ooh, love that for them. The girls are having a time. I'm literally crying, I keep yawning. Um, I was supposed to go out tonight with some friends, but honestly, I'm so tired. And I know like, you know, I could chug a Red Bull and that's my get there. I probably be a little more in the mood, but I'm just, I can't even like, just 
this idea of a driving. Ugh. I ain't got it at me tonight. I think there may have been a little debate about whether or not they were still going. Um, and so once I saw that they were taking a little long to answer my question, because like, are y'all pre-gaming? Like, where are we meeting? Da, da, da. It took them an hour. I said, oh. And that hour alone, my 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 body went down here. It said, uh-uh. Go ahead and call it like sis. Now, could I have used this time out? Absolutely. What you say? One, it would have been nice to move my body. And two, it would have been nice to keep you with friends and just get out. No? Get out of my head. Um, but I'm tired. And I need a nap. So that trumps all. I had to get some more contact lens solution. And I like that because of the contact lens. You know, for the most part, I'm wearing dailies. I feel like dailies are a scam because I, I'm a napper. Like, and not even by choice. I really have no choice. Like, I really used to be calling that to <laughs> And they say that once you take your contact out, you can't put it back in, or you should have put it back in. But also, you can't sleep in it. But as somebody that is chronically fatigued, what am I supposed to do? Like, where does that leave me? You know? So, if there are any optometrists following me, uh, what am I supposed to do? Because I got scammed. And one, daily contact lenses cost more than the weekly ones. So like, she was really pushing for me in the dailies. And I was like, I, I don't think the dailies are the right, the right kinds for me. But I already bought a year's worth, so, I don't know. And my stash of the weeklies are, you know, dwindling. I was like, dang, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm about to have my shower. I'm going to bed, honestly. I'm not going with you. Um, I'm not going to do nothing else to go to bed. I need to get rid of this headache, and I feel like a good night's sleep is what will do it. A good night's sleep is what will fit me there. So, yeah. I am going to just roll while the water heats up. And that's pretty much it for this vlog. It was um, an interesting beginning but it is in fact a new beginning um we are entering a new phase of my life a new journey if you will a new era um and yeah it was a little rocky getting here but i think that sooner or later hopefully sooner things will iron out and i can finally be settled but um yeah yeah. Child, I'm gonna sleep so good. Y'all don't even know. Y'all know it's been hot. So I went ahead and got a fan, which I really didn't want to do. So I'm like, I got a fan now. And then they fix the air or I move. We might go with the fan over your waist. Da, da, da. I can't do it no more. So I got me a little fan. I'm gonna put it on my face tonight. Directly in my face. If I have to snip tomorrow morning, please. You know what happens. So I'm like, I hope tonight I get a good night's sleep and I don't wake up with the sweats. Also, I hate that I run hot. Why can't I be one of those girls that's always cold? Like, oh, I'm always cold in your sweater. Put your arms around me. Oh, why can't I be that? I'm the big bitch having sweating when nobody else is sweating. I'm the one <laughs> that's always damp, moist. Anyway, shot. <laughs> Let me stay on top of it. got children watching. Um, that's it for today's video, today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too like. I know we had some not so ideal moments, but it is okay. I think it all will work out in the end. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>